Hi friends, happy new year and welcome to Load of Crock. I'm going to try and keep this intro as short as possible, but I'm really excited to share a couple of new things that we're doing with Load of Crock in 2020. Um, first and probably one of the most exciting things, I have a blog, myloadofcrock.com, and it's exciting because Everything you could possibly want related to all my different recipes and videos is here and in one spot. So below this video, under the description, there's going to be a link and you click on that link and it will take you to my blog and everything you want is there, all the recipes, all the videos, all the ingredients, everything you could want. In conjunction with that, pretty big announcement, I'm on Facebook, which if you know me, you know is a big announcement because I've never been on Facebook. It's true, but I've decided that the load of crock in me needs to get on Facebook. I really wanna to get to know the Facebook community and get load of crock integrated with that. So really excited about being on Facebook as well. And finally, 12 months of giving. I am putting a focus in 2020 for me personally and then using load of crock as a way to share it with others putting a focus on giving back um, both in my community as well as broader uh, causes that are out there. And so what that means is the first video that I post every month in the description below my video, I will include either a link to a site where I've made a donation and I will tell you why I've chosen it for that month as the, the give back, or I will be doing some sort of giving back challenge and I will note what my challenge is that I'm doing and challenge you all to do something similar. For January, it's a challenge that I'm doing. Um, where we are, some of the coldest days are yet to come. And so I am taking the blankets that we have in our household that we no longer use, which it happens to be quite a lot. Um, and I'm putting them in my car. And when I'm driving around locally here, there are homeless people that are on usually corners by stop signs or stop lights. And what I'm going to do when I see them is I'm going to get a blanket, I'm going to get out of my car, and I'm going to give it to them to help them through some of these cold months. So that is the January challenge. Looking forward to doing a challenge or doing a give back every month and sharing that with all of you. Speaking of cold and speaking of having a focus, let's focus on why we're all here. In this episode of Load of Crock, we are making baked potato soup. Friends, as I mentioned, it's cold where I am. It's going to get colder. And this baked potato soup is perfect for the winter weather that we're all experiencing relative to where you are. I know it might not be below zero, but it's cold for probably where you are. So this is a great recipe for that. Super easy. And I've never made soup in the crock pot aside from chili, um, which you could argue is or isn't a soup. And we won't get into that. But first soup that I've done, and it turned out really, really great. And it includes bacon. Ah, uh, you know, I love Velveeta, I love butter, and I love bacon. So this is a really great one, and there are alternatives to make it easier, or you don't have to use bacon. Lots of ways and variations you can do this. So we'll put the soup together, and then we'll come back, and we'll talk about bacon. I'm just kidding. We'll talk about other stuff. For this recipe, you'll need chicken broth, cream cheese, diced hash browns, cheddar cheese soup, and cream of chicken soup. Optional ingredients for garnishing, cheddar cheese, and bacon. Get out your crock pot, spraying the bottom and the sides. Add in the bag of potatoes, followed by a little bit of salt, as well as a little bit of pepper, just to taste. Then add the cream of chicken soup, followed by roughly a half a can of cheddar cheese soup. Then finally, pour over the chicken broth. And then mix up until everything is fully mixed together. Place this crock pot on low, and while it starts cooking, get out a baking sheet and parchment paper and line it with your strips of bacon. You'll wanna cook this in your oven at 350 for roughly 15 to 17 minutes. When done, break up your bacon and put to the side. Cut up your cream cheese into nice cubes. 
after the first three hours, add the cream cheese cubes to the crock pot. And if you're using bacon, about half of the bacon that you baked, and then mix it up really well. Following this, you'll want to place it back on low for another hour. A couple of steps that are involved, but still really easy and totally worth it because it's so good. Three load of crock tips that I want to share. First, I would suggest using one and a half to maybe even two bags of the frozen potatoes. As you saw, I did one and I just felt like it wasn't chunky enough, like there wasn't enough potato. And I mean, it is a baked potato soup. So some may argue it's the essence of the soup. Second, the bacon. I chose to bake my own bacon because I love bacon. Um, but first, you don't have to use bacon if you don't want to, or if you don't want that extra step of making your own bacon, you can always use bacon bits as a way to simplify it. And finally, this soup freezes really well. So if you made a huge vat of it that you just can't get through and are feeling guilty, don't. Put that baby in the freezer because we all know winter can get really long and that's going to be a good one to break out again and eat. Thanks to all of you that are subscribed and watching the Slow of Crock channel. I'm incredibly grateful for everybody's support in 2019. Super excited about 2020. As I shared, I also now have a website where all of my recipes are included. So check out myloadofcrock.com. The link to the site is just below this video. Um, and also I am joining and have joined the Facebook community. So you can find me there, Load of Crock also. So stay warm, my friends. I know it's getting a little bit cold, but we're going to make it. We are going to make it. And there is no better way to stay warm than by checking out this baked potato soup.